Hey guys, it's currently 9.14 on the 30th of the 6th slash June. Um, so that means there's just under three hours to go until Camp NaNoWriMo starts. And I am nervous. Um, I was excited earlier. But, um, yeah, now I, I don't know where to start. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just... Um, opening up this vlog with this, whatever this is, um, it will be kind of my week in probably both writing and not writing during the next first week of Camp NaNoWriMo, which is where I plan to get a fair bit ahead so I can stay ahead when uni goes back on the 15th. Um, yeah, so... I will leave this there until the next update, which will probably be at midnight. Um, let me know if you're doing Camp NaNoWriMo down below. And yeah, let's have some fun and get some writing done. Hey, what's up you guys? It is currently 7.55pm on the 1st of June 2019. Obviously. <laughs> I did not date at midnight, as you can probably tell. Um, started getting sick last night, so I decided after I did a couple of sprints after midnight, I would go to bed and sleep it off, and I woke up and I was still sick. So I've just been riding all day, and I didn't even think about picking this up until now. It's nearly 8 o'clock at night, but I have been riding all day, and I've been working on other projects that I wanted to work on this month, and cleaning a little bit, trying to sweat the cold out um I also hurt my hand <laughs> yesterday and that's killing me no rest for the wicked right <laughs> it's been a pretty good day writing wise I'm actually really happy with my cat day two of nano on the second and the seventh and I am obviously still sick I look horrible Hey, what's up guys? It is currently um, 3.55 on the 3rd, 3.55 p.m. on the 3rd of July. Um, I'm feeling a bit better today. Um, the cold's on its way out. Thank God it didn't last very long. I am about to take this little man to the vet. He's not feeling the best, so I'm going to go get him checked out. Um... As for my camp and nano, I am on 9,447 words um, on day three. I'm hoping to hit 10k tonight. I am deliberately going hard in the beginning. So when uni goes back on the, um, on the 15th, can take a step back from writing and focus on uni and you know, get a little bit of writing in each day to keep up the the gain that I've gotten at this, in the first 15 days of July. I'll probably update when I get back if it's good news about this little novel. I have a lot of anxiety over it and yeah, let's just hope that it's good news when I come home. Hey guys, I um, don't know where my tripod is so if this is a weird angle, sorry but should be fine by the next video. Um, I got back from the vet a while ago, and Kitty Cat needs some meds. Um, one for five days, one for seven days, and the other one until they run out, and then hopefully he'll be fine. Um, yeah, so he's sleeping next to me now. now. He's had the meds he needed for tonight, and I'll do the rest in the morning. Um, it costs a lot of money, but what price do we put out on our pets, right? Um, I am still only on a thousand words for the day. Um, I'm quite ahead, but I really want that cushion room for when uni comes back. So I'm going to try and, um, take a bit of a break now and try and push through and get that other thousand words.
Yeah. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's almost two o'clock on the sixth of the seventh, two thousand and nineteen. Um, I haven't written anything today. I have no excuses why. I will probably write a bit in a minute. I'm about to watch the fire live, and I usually like to do something while I'm watching the fire live. So I will probably. Right, so yeah, my word count is exactly the same as what was yesterday, which I think is about 13,663. But I wanted to show you guys some cool things I got in the mail um, yesterday. So for people that know me know that I am obsessed with leopards, big cats, nature, about to watch Safari Live. Um, yeah, but I, w I had a couple of dollars left over last fortnight. And I, um, yeah, I went on Redbubble and searched for a couple of things, and they were leopards. Um, leopard stuff. So yeah, this is a, obviously a paw print. I just put it on my current, um, notebook, which is the one I just scribbled down everything in and then sort it out later. There's this one. It's called Delicious. It's a cute little leopard. I thought it was one that I was quite familiar with, but when I asked the creator, it wasn't. But she's super cute. Um, yeah, I really like this photo. It's typical leopard for me. Um, this is this one is a leopard named Hosanna. It's probably one of the most well-known leopards at the moment. He is absolutely gorgeous and one of my favorite leopards. I just this is hand drawn, and I just really enjoy. This, this drawing of him is, just captures who he is. He's a clown. And this is a photo of his mother, Corolla. She's just lovely. She isn't with us anymore. She disappeared when Hosanna and his sister were quite young. And Hosanna, um, Hosanna's sister, Shongile, um, I love that name. It's one of my favorite names. Shongile went missing and that um, Hosanna is surviving so that's great um Corolla is also one of the most well-known leopards of her time and she's just beautiful as well and yeah so i just wanted to show you guys um what i got in the mail that i'm super happy about i'm on day six it's really weird looking i'm on seventeen thousand two hundred and 75 yesterday I was on 13,663 Hey, what is up guys? I had to clean my glasses. I did that. I am so happy. <laughs> um, it's day 8. I haven't written anything today. It's about 1pm. I know. I suck. I did get write some last night after my little trip that you guys saw. Um, it And I got to 19,312 which I am very happy with, and as I've said about a hundred times throughout this vlog, it's cushioning for the 15th when I start back at uni, where I will probably drop down to the recommended, got, uh, the recommended words per day to finish on time, which will hopefully be a lot lower by the 15th with all the hard work I've done. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy with how my nano has gone so far. Um, I had a little bit of... Um, I think burnout on about day five and yeah, that's fine. Like it's, it's supposed to happen. I'm sorry if you see my blinkers, it's just really cold and I took my jacket off to film this and now I'm freezing. Vlog is probably a little bit short, so I'm just going to let everybody know what my quarter, my goals are for the next quarter. Um, so you guys aren't just completely bored with my, um, nano talk, which is like 30 second vlogs here and there. So, my goals for July, August, and September. So, July, I plan to rewrite Stand Tall, They'll Break Your Heart, which is what I'm currently doing. 
on the 15th, uni goes back and I really want to focus in on that a lot and get good grades and yeah, um, just really focusing on that. I want to focus on cleaning up my house for moving, which I'm hoping to do at some point. September, this wasn't originally on my goals list, but I um, changed a lot of my pl plans regarding publishing and stuff like that, which I'll talk about later, but I'm going to be editing my vampire series called Attack, or well, editing book one and planning the rest of the series. Um, and then just continue, continuing the cleaning and decluttering and stuff for moving and obviously my number one goal for um, August will be university and in August I will be planning and editing book one of my series called Iridescent which needs a lot more work than Attack. Um, um, there's no blog post or review this week because honestly when it got to like Thursday night and I hadn't posted either I'm like ah oh, crap <laughs> but um that's fine and I will be back next Monday yeah next Monday probably with another camp NaNoWriMo vlog hopefully it's a little bit juicier than this one and it might be because I have two birthdays coming up this week that's about it. Like and subscribe if you liked it and want to subscribe and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.